So let's talk about the Tomato Pepper Harvest Six Pack. It's a collection of six really nice uh, garden plants, four tomatoes and two peppers. The, uh, a couple things about the tomatoes, except for the uh, super sweet sun gold tomato, is that they're, they're tidy, they're neat, they're compact plants. You can even plant them in containers and put them right on your patio and you know, harvest uh, tomatoes you know, throughout the summer there. Or you can plant them out in the garden, uh, but they don't necessarily need to be staked. They're just robust, stocky plants um, that um, you know, don't require a lot of maintenance. Now the sun gold uh, tomato does need to be staked because they do tend to grow pretty, pretty uh, vigorously. They'll get maybe up to five feet tall, but here's the why I love this plant. Um, it is a golden little cherry plant that uh, is so sweet. And uh, I, you know, if your kids, or if you don't like to pick fresh fruit out of the garden, you will with sun golds. They're, they're almost like uh, candy on a tomato plant. They're really, really good. And uh, it's really my favorite little cherry tomato. You can use them in salads. You can just eat them like popcorn. Um, it's, it's a very great tomato. The other, the other tidy ones are, uh, there's a venti salad that works really nice in salads. You can just chop them up. They're more oblong than round. There's a tidy rose, which is sort of like a miniature beefsteak. Great slicing tomato. And then there's an, uh, a tidy treat, which is a, uh, a, a cherry tomato, and they're, um, they're very good too, and they produce like crazy. Matter of fact, all these plants produce a lot of fruit. Now we also have a better bell pepper, which, you know, you can use these bell peppers for stuffing. You can slice them up in salads. Um, if you leave them on the plant long enough, they'll turn red, so you sort of have a two-in-one pepper in one plant. And then there's a, a, a jalapeno pepper uh, in the collection, and it's a, um, it's, it's not as hot of a jalapeno, it's not like terribly mild, but it has just that great jalapeno uh, taste to it and flavor, and it's, it's a great plant. Both of those plants stay fairly compact and uh, can be planted in containers or right in the garden. Uh, all these plants need to be in full sun. You must put them in full sun or they will not uh, really produce a whole lot of fruit if they produce any at all and um, and again they these plants like fertilizer they like to eat so um, they're a living creature you know if you feed your dogs your cats your kids feed your plants too we recommend nature source fertilizer it's in the catalog use it that one little jug makes 200 gallons of fertilizer so plenty of food in there and uh, feed your, uh, I'd say feed your tomatoes and peppers once a week, either in a container or in the ground. You'll just get a whole lot more fruit and the plants will be a whole lot more healthy and get you deep into the fall with tomatoes and peppers. Side note, check out our Tower Basil Trio in the catalog. Perfect pairing with tomatoes and just rounds out your vegetable garden in amazing ways.